Well, hey there, traveller. You look weary. Why don't you stop here for a bit? Take a break. You've earned it. But hey, I've got something for you. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Hello and welcome back to Curmudgeon Media. My name's Tom and I have a confession to make. I gotta come clean. I was, at one point in time, a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan. I may have dabbled in the competitive scene in my youth before I realised how mean it could be. I mean, Jesus Christ, on a bicycle people take this game seriously. I also watched a bit of the anime, I read a bit of the manga, I fell out of touch with all that when I went to university, but the point still stands. So, I was lying in bed the other night when I suddenly remembered that Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds was a thing that happened. For better or worse, it was a thing that happened. Having just finished my postgrad and five years of studying, something really weird happened where my academic brain and my Yu-Gi-Oh brain collided, and I had an epiphany about card games on motorcycles. And you'd better believe that I'm about to overanalyze the bejesus out of those motorcycles. My understanding is that Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds was ridiculed for taking dual monsters, taking high-speed motor vehicles, and just Frankensteining those bad boys together. According to acclaimed academic lexicon Urban Dictionary, this was a very stupid idea. Oh, the slander. This seems like an oversight to me. The knee-jerk reaction to Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds has failed to capture the rich, thematic relevance of card games on motorcycles. But I'm here today to finally bring justice to Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and provide a staunch defense of its central gimmick. I feel like there's a joke in there somewhere. Provide a staunch defense in defense mode? Ah, f*** it. As someone who hasn't seen the show in like 10 years and can almost remember the name of two of the characters, I think it's safe to say I'm an authority on the subject. Am I saying that Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is good? Who's to say? Probably not. And this video is mostly just supposed to be stupid and fun and I don't really want to go back and rewatch it, I'm tired! From what I remember, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds takes place in Neo Domino City in some time in the future. If you're already getting flashbacks to Neo Tokyo from Akira, let me assure you that this isn't the only parallel between the two. In fact, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is basically a pretty cookie-cutter, cyberpunk, tech-noir, dystopian kind of gig. It's got your overt themes of class division, and social stratification, and urban decay, etc, etc. It's just... this, this is just Akira, but with card games. Oh no... This dystopian future needs a style of children's card game befitting of its aesthetic. And it does! They call it Turbo Dueling, or Speed Solitaire, or something. Where they ride around in, like, a stadium and play duel monsters and stuff, and there are some other rules, but whatever, that's not important. What matters is that there are motorcycles now. Before we dig in, we need to ask the important questions. What are motorcycles? What do they want from me? Why won't they leave me alone? Okay, so motorcycles, or automobiles more generally, do actually have a kind of thematic relevance to the sort of cyberpunk dystopia that 5Ds is going for. But in order to actually understand why that is, we need to understand why this kind of fictional city exists in the first place. Broadly speaking, this kind of dystopian cityscape is a social satire slash commentary on modern post-industrial life. There's a reason they're typically depicted as commercial, decaying, miserable, rife with poverty and class division, etc. You know, just like the world we already live in. I mean, here's some drone footage of San Francisco that looks like it was pulled right out of Blade Runner 2049. Anyway, I digress. Now it's time for me to think way too much about something that absolutely does not warrant a deep critique. <sighs> Believe it or not, motor vehicles are actually very important to modern cities. They're one of the main reasons modern cities are built the way they are. In simple terms, if automobiles change how people get around, they're bound to affect the way people interact with the spaces around them and how urban spaces are built. Because of the proliferation of motor vehicles, the post-industrial world is a new landscape of big spaces and high speeds. There's something so chaotic about it, and the automobile symbolises this chaos perfectly. I mean, why do you think Akira has goddamn biker gangs all over the place? The confusing, eclectic nightmare of the modern metropolis is so magnificently encapsulated in Canada's motorcycle, and I guess in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds as well. The vibe of this kind of structure is chaos. The order in this landscape is not obvious. It's like the manifestation of late capitalism and its ruthlessly fast pace. Anyway, let's dig a little deeper. Oh yeah, it's quote time. Where did I leave it? Ah, oh, aha! <clears throat> a driver 30 years ago could maintain a sense of orientation in space. No, not that kind of space. At the symbol crossroad, a little sign with an arrow confirmed what he already knew. Today, the crossroad is a cloverleaf. To turn left, he must turn right, but the driver has no time to ponder paradoxical subtleties. He relies on signs to guide him. Enormous signs, vast spaces at high speeds. What Venturi and Brown are saying is, the modern city is heckin' confusing and weird and it sucks and I hate it, and it's all symptomatic of automobiles. 
In the chaotic post-industrial dystopia of Akira, I mean Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, they take this same approach to the modern metropolis, and the symbol of the dystopian modern city, the automobile, is like the, the single most obvious takeaway from the whole series. But if the automobile is partly responsible for the infrastructure of the modern city space, then surely it also symbolises the awful things that come with the modern city space. The, the poverty, the decay, and so on. Oh, it all makes sense now! According to someone, urbanisation is a major force behind social stratification. In other words, the increasing gap between the rich and the poor is part and parcel of the contemporary cityscape. And what do we see in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds? Class division, social commentary, I'm telling you guys, we live in a society! In 5Ds, you have the cyberpunk metropolis of Neo Domino City, which may or may not be a ripoff of Neo Tokyo, which is like rich people land, and then you have Satellite, which is all poverty stricken and left to rot by the social elites. Residents of Satellite are made to work in the plant and are often looked down upon by many residents of New Domino City, generally referred to as scum or trash. It is the exploitation of the proletariat. If motorcycles symbolise the modern city, they must also symbolise the urban decay and the social issues therein. I. I need to catch my breath. So TLDR, the automobile, in this case motorcycles, is symbolic of the chaotic modern city space, the terrifying nightmare world which is so often satirised in speculative sci-fi. All they did was just graft card games onto it. And you know what? I'm okay with that. They took the symbol of urban dystopia and they just slapped dual monsters onto it. Is it the most subtle way of doing things? Probably not. Is it arguably lazy and ham-fisted? Maybe. But also, maybe card games on motorcycles isn't the dumbest thing ever. So take that, Urban Dictionary. Oh my god, what am I doing with my life? Get ready, Domino City. I'm coming. Hey there, thanks for watching the stupid video that I made. If you enjoyed it, you should consider leaving a like because it helps us out in the algorithm. And maybe you should subscribe too. Maybe? I had a lot of fun making this video. I'd been planning on doing something like this for a while, but then a bunch of Infinity Train stuff happened and I made videos about it, and they actually did really well, which is nice. I will be back to talk about Infinity Train real soon. We've got Season 4 on the horizon, um, and I will be talking about that, so on and so forth. Stay tuned. Um, <laughs> I legit need to go catch my breath. Recording this was a lot.